Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Vahi Mehta bringing you another video today on how to remove objects in Lightroom. Now, if you've ever taken a beautiful photo where your composition was on point, the lighting just was perfect and everything fit so perfectly, but there was either something or someone in the frame that you wish just didn't exist there. You either don't know how to use Photoshop or just wished you could remove that in Lightroom. Well, this video is just for you guys. So without wasting any more of your time, let's go save your photo. Uh, so I'm going to show you how we're going to go from this to this. So once you're in your Lightroom, you want to click here, your spot removal option, and you will come across these tools. You will see clone and heal. And how these two differ is cloning, as the name suggests, just samples one area to the other exactly um, without making any changes to it. The heal, however, tries to blend the two images using some AI. And more often than not, you want to use the heal option because it does it in a way more subtle way. And I'm going to show you how when we are editing how these two differ. Then you have your size, feather and opacity. Size is pretty obvious. Feather really helps with the blending um, and opacity. You want to keep it at 100. It is also the transparency of your effect. Now, the reason I took this image is because this is a lot more complicated because you have the subject interacting with multiple things. However, when you have like an image that this simple, like if you look at it, this was my original and this was after. This was fairly easy to do because the pattern is chaotic and it's consistent. So I just took my healing brush and I just painted once and it sampled an area and it looks pretty darn perfect. But this is easy to do. What do you do when it's a little more complicated? And I'm going to show you how exactly we are going to go. So I'm going to zoom a bit. And firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click heal. Make sure my size is a lot bigger for sure. I'm going to even bump up my feather and I'm going to first do the big part of his body. So I'm going to go all the way from this to this. So a lot of times Lightroom will not be able to judge what is it that you're trying to do. So you might want to sample it yourself. Now, as you can see, you have to be super careful to make sure the horizon kind of matches and you find the perfect it's where it starts conciding and that looks pretty good on its own as you can see it's starting to make a lot of sense now I will firstly remove these tiny bits paint over it then do with the rest of the image again make sure you match the straight line once you have the straight line it's a lot more believable that looks good and for the rest of it See, Lightroom did it on its own and I'm going to do with his hand as well. Now see, all of this looks so perfect because the patterns are similar. Now it gets a little more trickier when we are doing the shoes and the platform. I'm going to reduce the size and the reason I'm reducing the size is because I don't have a lot of area to sample and I'm going to paint over his shoe. And as you can see, you're getting this weird purple tinge and that's because the lighter platform is trying to blend with the darker shoes. And this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. So over here, you want to switch to clone. And I'm going to try to match the perspective lines, although I can just use this sample. However, I want to get the perspective lines as close as I can. That looks fairly decent to me. I'm going to do the same with this part. It looks good as well. And now I'm going to just match the edge of the platform. And that looks pretty good. I know the perspective lines don't match, but that's because it just wouldn't be possible without actually Photoshopping. But that looks pretty good. I think I can get away with it. You can obviously fix other parts of the image as well that you did not really do much changes to, just to get like a nice symmetry. Make sure you feather it out to get a more clean look. And I can obviously remove the shadow, but we're gonna just leave for that. I just see a small blending issue over here. So I'm gonna click heal, and I'm just gonna paint over this. 
Just sample it from here. Make sure you increase the feather just to give it like a nice blend. And voila, you are done. This is your before and this is your after. And that's about it. That was a quick and short tutorial on how to remove objects in Lightroom. If you like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.